Okay, so most of you, right, for this question, uh, you know you want to find certain angle. I think a lot of you know how to find, uh, because your job is to assume this, uh, not assume, sorry, your job is to explain why is it possible to draw a circle. Okay, so why is it possible to draw a circle? Why? The key thing is why. So you your why must include the property. So your why must include the property that support this, this circle. So the property that support this circle is angle in opposite segment, the cyclic quadrilateral. Okay? So the property that support this explanation is the angle in the opposite segment. So that means, right, you... You want to prove that it will be a circle like this. You want to prove that it will be a circle like this. So please do not assume the circle passes through already. I, I can't remember who is the one that I marked. But there is one or two person, right? Assume the circle and explain as if the circle already passed through. So if you already assume that the circle passed through, then right, you actually got no marks for your explanation. You are supposed to explain why. You cannot assume that this has already happened. Okay, so usually I will mark, 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 then I will forget who is the one. But if you, let's say, your explanation is as if that there is a circle already, right, then you are on the wrong track. You totally got no marks for your explanation. So I make myself very clear. When you need to explain, your reason is the property. You cannot take it as the circle is there already. Whoever take it as the circle is there, everything is wrong. Because your concept is wrong, your line of thinking is wrong. Okay, so for those of you, if you got it correct, you need to take note of that. So if you want to prove the cyclic quadrilateral, you only just need to prove the opposite side. You just need to prove that the opposite add up to 180. It can be this side or it can be this side. Okay, It can be whichever opposite side to add up 180, then that will be okay. So if you have the time, you feel more secure, you want to add up both sides, that's also fine. But if you don't, right, if you just add up one side, right, that will be okay also. Okay? So what you can do is, I think most of you will know how to calculate this. Most of you can calculate this by using angles on a straight line. And then most of you will also know how to calculate this because of isosceles triangle. So if you can explain that this two adds up to 180. Then the statement will be <clears throat> by the converse of angles in opposite segment. Then a circle blah, blah, blah will pass through. Of course, you can also say that uh, uh, it is uh, this is a cyclic quad. After you prove the 180, right, you can say that this is a cyclic quad. So if you feel a bit insecure, you want to prove both directions, also can. Then you can go and get this angle. You can use angle sum of triangle to get this two angle, this angle. You can get angle sum of triangle to get this angle. And then you will realize these two also add up to 180. So you must clearly, uh, your explanation right must be such that you don't know that a circle will pass through yet. So if your circle, if you are doing it as if there is a circle already, you will get no marks no matter how much you write. So you might feel that I write so much, but then I get zero because your line of thinking is wrong. So in any question in O-level, 
if let's say you need to explain a reason, your reason must be a property or a theorem or something. But your explanation cannot assume that that thing already happened. So you explain already, then the circle happened, not the other way around. Okay, so I will not be writing out the proof. That is the idea that I need you to get. You can read my solution, how I explain the cyclic quote, all that.